With the machine learning hardware companies that are in the ecosystem, I like to bucket them into the types of architecture. Mm -hmm. You know, systolic arrays, CGRAs, data flow. How would you categorize mm -hmm. the tensor and architecture? I think TensorFlow is probably a coarse grain data flow computing machine architecture. So you're right. combining two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it has the granularity, logic granularity. You can you can you can process like uh, 16 by 16 tensex really well, right? Not but not giant tensex, right? But you also don't we don't have the capability to process like a one tensex, right? So that's kind of system or regular level, right? So. It's actually a, a combination. So I think Rubija actually, our founder, make the good trade of that finding the granularity for the accelerator and building the accelerator data flow architecture around that. Right? Because, I mean, on the surface, you look on the AI computation is a data flow computation. Right? So you pass in data from one stage to the other. It doesn't have a complex control loop. Right? So it's very good for that. So on the high level thinking, you should be a data flow uh, based kind of computation, but what kind of granularity choose is actually very important because if you choose too big the granularity, right, you may not be efficient. If you choose too small, you may not be efficient as well because it's too hard to manage. So you have to choose the right granularity.